Hello and welcome to a new episode of Vixel Insights. My name is Stefan Gronborn and I'm a system architect for Vixel Solutions. Have you ever heard of Vibo? Today I'll introduce you to our new technology platform. So first of all, what does Vibo mean? Vibo stands for Vixels with integrated backside optics. And now you can see how this looks like. Here you see the contact side of the Vixels with the copper pillars with integrated solder caps. These enable that the Vibo chips can be flip chip mounted on a board or even directly on a driver IC. The Vixels are realized as bottom emitters, sending the beam through the substrate to the other side of the chip. So on the back side, micro optics are monolithically etched into the Vixel, like you can see on the picture on the right. By integrating these optics into the Vixel, the component not only becomes much smaller, but we can also align millions of lenses to the millions of Vixels on a wafer at the same time. Additionally, the lifetime of the Vixel is increased as interfaces are eliminated. But now imagine how these integrated lenses and addressable segments on the chip can serve our illumination needs. As you can see in the graphic, Vibo allows a much better shaping of the light distribution compared to standard diffusers. For example, homogeneous irradiation up to the corners of the sensor field of view with minimum light outside. Vibo can create much more illumination profiles, ranging from line and spot patterns to individual zone of interest illumination. The zones can simply be switched on and off to tailor the pattern you need. So with this new technology platform, optical engineers get the maximum freedom in design to create any illumination profile they can think of. Here you see the, a measured beam profile of the Vibo chip with two segments. You see that the segments are clearly separated and show sharp transition regions. So the measurement confirms that all the laser energy is in the field of view of the sensor and lead to a homogeneous thickness strength. Now let's have a look of an application example for Vibo. With the rise of autonomous driving options, in-cabin sensing becomes more and more important. With Weibo, we can illuminate, for example, three different zones individually and adapt the illumination levels to the changing situations. This supports future in-cabin sensing solutions. To sum up, we compare the new technology approach to standard Vixel packages with conventional optics. Here you can see both next to each other. Weibo on the right-hand side is way smaller. Actually, the footprint as well as the height is reduced by a factor of 5 or more. Miniaturization is key in consumer electronics like smartphones, so Vibo is a perfect match. Also, the design of the entire sensing systems becomes easier with smaller Vibo components. And reliability as well as compliance to eye safety is enhanced as the optics are an irremovable part of the Vibo chip. I hope this introduction raises your interest. So stay tuned for more Vixel Insight episodes on Vibo or contact us in the meanwhile to find out more.